Hey Tackle Warehouse fans, Mike Iaconelli out here in the shop. I want to talk to you today about how I store crankbaits, my crankbait storage methods. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the boxes I use and the system I use to store them and make them easy to get to, easy access. That's really key. Um, first thing as far as boxes, man, I'm a big, big believer and fan of the Flambo boxes that have the Z-Rust built right into the boxes. Uh, these are the brand new uh, Z-Rust Max series, tough tainers, um, and there's different sizes. So, you know, for the most part, um, I use what I call the middle of the road sizes. Um, this is a great one. This is the uh, 5003 ZM, Z-Rust Max box. This is a great one. It's got a little bit different storage layout for bigger crankbaits. This is the WP5005ZM, uh, Z-Rust Max series. Um, love these boxes. Uh, they're great because you know, they store stuff conveniently. Uh, they're a standard size. They fit real nice in my hatches. And most of all, they have that Z-Rust in them. And I want to keep those crankbait hooks from rusting, okay? So I love the Flambeau boxes. And then I store, in my bass boat, I store all my crankbaits up front. Because when you're storing stuff on a boat, you want your lighter stuff in the front. You want your heavier stuff in the back. So jigs, worm weights, terminal tackle, jig heads, the stuff that's real heavy, I'm putting in the back of the boat. But the stuff that's lighter, like crankbaits, I store in the front of the boat, uh, in the front hatch. And there's that flambeau box. And I wanna show you the system I use on uh, labeling, which is, which is real key too. I'm using colored duct tape. And on that colored duct tape, and if you notice, I put one on the front, and I put one on the side, depending on how I can get to it in the hatch, I write the style of bait. So here we've got DT4s. The next box we've got DT6s, DT10s, DT14s, and all the way. Um, and then in that box, I'll store the crankbaits by color. I want you to take a look at that. I, I separate them by color. I'm not going crazy on color. If you look in this box, I've got three basic color patterns. I've got crankbaits that look like bait fish and shad. I've got crankbaits that look like bluegill or perch. And I've got crankbaits that look like crawfish. Um, and they're the basic color patterns that I'm putting in this box. But again, they're all separated by color. The nice thing about these Flambo Z-Rust Max Tough Tainers is you can create the space, right? They come with the biters. So I'm creating enough space. Now listen to me, this is an important thing. I wanna carry three to four of each color. Three to four crankbaits of each color. And you know, the reason I do that is in the course of a tournament day, or a fishing day, you never wanna be on the water with just one bait. You never wanna just have one. So I like three or four of each color, and you're gonna see that. Um, Demon, D, uh, DT Demon, we've got Rasta, we've got Disco Shad, we've got Caribbean Shad, uh, Mule, and I've got at least three or four of each color. Um, these boxes are nice. The tabs have solid lockdown on them. It's everything I need. I'll carry DTs from the DT4 all the way to the DT20. Store them in, the, in my front hatch. Keep them light, keep them up front. Label them so that they're easy to get to and when I see it, I know what I've got. And that's the system I use for storing my crankbaits. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And let me remind you, these amazing boxes and crankbaits you could get right here on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, good luck, good fishing. We'll see you later.